Hello, hello, and welcome, everyone. I am Maester Alix, and this is The Outer Worlds. And this is going to be episode zero, where we have the basic character creation and intro stuff. And uh, I like making these, because I can kind of stay out of character. It's a little bit more fun, easy breezy. And, you know, we can all just join together. And for those who started episode one... We'll have, it'll be the, you know, in-depth proper thing. Those who join us for episode zero, you can just see the character creation. It's a little bit of, uh, you know, out-of-character stuff. It's, it's a fun thing. So, I'm going to put this to story, let's see. Story more than combat. We're going to put this to normal. Because, normal. Subtitles on, subtitles on, subtitles on. Yes, please. Halcyon. Why stay earthbound? Oh. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Ah, oh, 1023. That's cool. I don't know. What's going on here? Vernon Wells, fugitive wanted for Halcyon hosting the court of crimes. Oh, he's a criminal! Great! Hope he's at least professional at it, so he's a professional crimist. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. All right, here we go. Let's see. Strength, which is for melee. Block. Inspiration and Intimidate. Okay. And then we got... Dexterity for one-handed melee. Handguns, dodge, block, sneak, lock, pick. Oh, that's good stuff. Intelligence. Long guns, persuade. Persuade, that's nice. Hack, medical, science, determination. Handguns, long guns, heavy weapons, dodge, lock, pick, engineering. We've got our charm skills. Persuade, lie, intimidate, hack, science, inspiration. And temperament. Two-handed melee. That's unusual, but that's cool. Lie, sneak, medical, engineering, determination. Health regeneration, two per second. Oh. Companion ability, positive faction reputation. Ah, okay. Well, I could go one of each and get from average to good. But I want to try to be a... Uh, get some of that speech check stuff. So, we're going to go... Sneak, lockpick. We're going to go one higher on... One of these. Companion stuff, reputations, or health. Ooh. Now those who know me, I'm a fan of not dying, so the health regeneration is really tempting. Ah, uh, we'll go charm. That's science inspiration. Yeah, and I want 
And I, you know, I want to be a smart person, get stuff done, engineering kind of buildy stuff. And this, you know, this one helps with persuade. Uh, yeah, high charm, temperament. Can I actually go down? Muscular ah. atrophy is practically a hobby in this colony. And, you know, the carrying capacity, if I do the uh, companion stuff, that should be... Okay, yeah. Let's go next. Ah, two points. Let's see. Melee, range, defense, dialogue. Bam. You could make a vicar doubt the law. Cool. Stealth, tech, or leadership. Inspiration and determination. Companion damage, companion health. I'll just, uh, persuade, lie, intimidate. All right, all right, let's see. I already have a high hack. Maybe the lock picking and hacking would be useful. So handguns, long guns, but not heavy, I'm kind of okay with. Good at dodge, bad at block. Good to know. So, 12, 212s and 216s. Uh, unlock the ability to sell goods at two vending machines. Doors and containers requiring one mag pick are free to open. Ooh. Okay. Stealth or tech. Improves your weapon and armor at workbench. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh, I, I love doing the improvement thing. Alright. At last, a kindred spirit. Yeah, and I got those novice ones. Yeah. Scramble duration? I don't know what that means, but hey, we'll work on it. All right, let's see what's next. Attitude, or aptitude. I can read. Let's see, determination plus one, drink effect block, persuade, shock damage, engineering, dodge, and ray damage. I don't know what that means. Food duration, corrosion damage, inspiration, maybe. Medical, plasma damage received. Science, one-handed melee. Let's see, no discernible aptitude. Drink effect, block, persuade. If we go back, all right. Persuade plus one is not really gonna help at this point because it's, it's one. Okay. Or engineering is an entire category, I think. I know. Uh, I was good at dodge, but... Huh. Now's your chance to have vengeance. Let's see, what was... Inspire. Ooh, okay, that was one that I was not... That's inspiration. Okay. Companion companion damage. Yeah, I'm gonna want uh, help with. Yeah, leadership is gonna something because I'm gonna rely more on my friends. So yeah. Come on. I'm pressing N. Or, oh, pff. E. Hello. Okay. So yeah, inspiration. Um. Better match my voice, we'll do mail. Let's see. Can I find a sufficiently round face for myself? Try to put myself in here, because why not? Who doesn't love a good self-insert? I think... That'll have to do. Oh. There we go, nice and pale. I 
There we go. Oh, this is one of those really in-depth ones. There we go. Now the eyes. There we go. Now we're starting to look like Alex. The the few people who've seen the face reveals, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, now we're getting, now we're getting there. All right, before we get this underway, I really want to get the right sufficiently somewhere between brown and blonde, slightly more blonde. There we go. Now we can take a look at the styles properly. That's actually pretty close to reality right now. Number three, okay. Well, if, actually, that is exactly what it is. Okay, we're done on that. Okay, I have not paid enough attention to my own eyebrows. So I'm going to just pull up my phone real quick. I have it pointed right at my face. Because who doesn't want a good self-insert, really? All right. Yeah, that's it. There we go. Facial hair. Oh, yes, please. We're getting there. It's close. Just need to connect it up to the front. Come on, you don't have the mutton stash? Ah. Well, then, okay. And the color. Well, should match the hair, right? There we go. Features. Makeup, none. Dirt. I don't know. Put a scar on there? Nay. Can, can I rotate? There we go. Ooh. Why so serious? Dang. Um, I kind of want to put a scar, but I don't want to put a huge one. You know what I mean? I don't know where that one is, so I'm not going to worry about 12. You know, that's off to the side enough. Oh, here. It's poking out. That's what... Oh, both sides. Hmm. You know what? That'll do. That'll do nicely. All right. So, average strength, good dexterity, good intelligence, good perception, high charm, and good temperament. Yeah, I think that sounds pretty good. I am, uh, I have an inspir inspiring aptitude, and melee is not so good. Handguns are okay. I have skills unlocked for persuading, lying, and intimidating. This should go down if we're going to copy real life, but eh. Medical, science, engineering. Cool.
Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. Terra 2, orbiting laboratory, Halcyon system. Status, structural integrity down 25%. Our levels down. <sighs> Shit. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Um... Actually, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! With what? No oh boy. No. Uh, 60th anniversary of the Hope's disappearance. Oh goodness. Sherman Rockwell raises the glass to our lost brothers and sisters. Oh no. Okay. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah. There yeah. You are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes. The smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Oh boy, that's atmosphere. At least some oxygen content. Yeah. Yeah. Very nasty. No. All right. Well, now that I've got control of my character, here's where I'll say thank you all for joining me. I really hope you're going to enjoy this series. I'm really excited to play it for all of you. Uh, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that other wonderfulness. 
Otherwise, I shall see you all next time.